in a world of boring incremental android updates <coughs> android 15 <coughs> this is something truly exciting this is the nothing os 3.0 beta which we've been tinkering around with on the nothing phone 2a and even though it's based on android 15 which is a very bland update this is anything but bland given the exciting changes we got to see and some that are coming soon but we're very excited to try out now, before we get into the video and the Nothing OS 3.0 features, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy our videos and help us grow. Do it! No. Okay, so first let me take you through a guide on how to install this beta. The Nothing OS 3.0 beta is only available on the Phone 2A. You can see when it will come to other Nothing phones here. Makes sense given how massively popular this affordable phone is. First, make sure your phone is running Nothing OS 2.6 with this build number. Now simply download an APK from the Nothing community page. I'll also put the link in the description. Install this APK and then go to Settings, System and Update to Beta version. Tap on Check for New Version and voila! You'll have the Nothing OS 3.0 download waiting for you. But enough about that and let's get into my favorite features of Nothing OS 3.0. First, the quick settings design has been overhauled with Nothing OS 3.0. First off, the brightness slider is now lower in a more easily accessible location and you've also got a convenient little auto brightness button right here. However, I'd have liked a brightness toggle to be there even on the first pull. The look of the quick setting styles have changed too. You can now change the size of some of these styles and it looks pretty good. The new ringer tile also looks great. However, I don't like how resizing the tiles doesn't automatically fill empty spaces. You have to manually do it. So the app drawer sees some genuinely useful changes. First off, you can pin apps to the top, which is especially useful if you're using the Nothing Icon Pack, which looks very aesthetic, but it can get difficult to find apps due to the monochrome look. You can pin unlimited apps to the top, which is great. It will show up right under the AI app suggestions, which you can turn off if you wish. There's also a smart app drawer list that uses AI to categorize apps and put them in folders, much like iOS. I personally don't like this look, but it can be very useful for some. So with Nothing OS 3.0, HDR photos now have a much faster processing time. So the time taken from clicking the photo to the processed version of the photo being ready is shorter. Portrait processing has also changed. It's faster and processes blur based on the subject's face size. The camera app launch time has also reduced, but it still has some hiccups from time to time. The zoom slider also has a new look, which I quite like. Like. Now, Nothing has also claimed low-light photos have been improved. Would you like to see a long-term camera review of the Nothing Phone 2A with Nothing OS 3.0? Drop a comment saying camera review and we'll work on that video for you. With Nothing OS 3.0, you just need to long press the lock screen to directly customize this page, which is much easier than going into the settings and searching for that option. First off, there are some new clock styles on the very top, some of which look great, but this dot matrix one is not clearly legible most times. The dot should ideally have been a bit smaller. You can change the widgets down here and you can also expand the widget area to have a bigger area for widgets, although you will lose the clock if you do this. I really like the lock screen customization options, although I think nothing can allow users to change the color of the clock and other icons here. There's also a new widget page and it looks stellar with bigger icons. Love it. The look has changed quite a bit with Nothing OS 3.0. The dot matrix font has disappeared from many places in favor of the cleaner sans serif font. But what do you think? Did you like the dot matrix font better? But the dot style also makes an appearance in other things like fingerprint animation, which looks pretty neat. There are a few more useful features like partial screen recording, a movable pop-up window which can be pinned to the side and more. I did find the pop-up window to be slightly buggy though. Look at that search bar and see how it goes outside the window. But then again, this is a beta software. So hopefully this will be ironed out. There are also more features like this custom charging mode in battery health, smart cleanup and storage, charging assistant to tell you when your phone is slow charging and much more. There's a Nothing News report of Widget 2 which will read out the latest news to you based on the genres you select. Welcome to Nothing News, where we fill the void with the latest updates. So not all features are live in the beta. Let's talk about some upcoming features. First off, the charging animation and weather app will feature a dot matrix look which looks sweet. There's also the highly awaited Nothing Gallery app which will have AI features and suggestions. I quite like it. 
There's also a new countdown widget which will show you a countdown to a date you set, which is pretty nice. And there's also new shared widgets. So basically you can share your widget with your friends or family that use nothing phones and they can react to these widgets with stickers. Pretty cool, right? So that was the beta version of Nothing OS 3.0, our very first look at Nothing's redesigned OS. What do you think about it? And do you think I should compare it with another OS? Drop your suggestions below and I'll see you next time.